SCP Clicker Secure Click Protect Hey together, I'm Aaron the Black Dragon and I found this little gem of an SCP game just today and not gonna lie, I'm so intrigued by it. The description itself said that this is a strategic clicker where you have to balance your income, the anomalies that you find and the safety of the world. It's a clicker, so I don't know how that will work, but I'm more than intrigued in that, so let's click. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, uh, I make continually cash. What is that? Pause the game, get funds, hire an agent. Let's hire... Uh, okay, they cost me money, but they decrease the dangerous. Sure, let's buy a few agents. I mean, I still make... Oh, I make less money now. Uh, let's go for funds. An agent has died. Click to dismiss, okay. Class D personnel, cheaper than agents, more expendable. They cost me less. What exactly does the clicking do actually for me? Because so far, uh, I get funds that increases the danger per second, but I still have zero danger. Okay. What do you have here? Open a savings account. Okay, I have two savings accounts open. Oh, now I make Dosh again. Oh, so that's how that works. Let's make one more open. I still have more than enough agents so that I'm not too concerned about anything. I still get a little bit of research done. I still don't really know what the clicking itself. when. Agents die, things get dangerous. I still have 10 agents. I still feel more than fine. But what does just clicking do? It doesn't increase my research time. Okay, we have 3000 again. So I could make... Costs... It's... Oh, agent has died. Dismiss. Whatever. We're still doing good. There's no music to this. So that means I'm gonna go... Uh, myself and gather the SCP music f for from Containment Breach, I wanna say there, specifically to make sure that we have some atmospherically accurate music going on. Let's make... Bank requires money in order to make money. Banks require money in order to make money, keep that in mind. So I can open a bank that costs me 4000, but I get plus times Oh, oh, one my money. I don't 100% understand how that works, but whatever. Let's. I guess once the research hits like 100, we're good. That was probably a bit much. Let's go and open a bank. Oh, agent has died. Whatever. We still have minus 30% on that. And I'm just gonna hire two more agents. And so, class D personnel are cheaper than agents, more expendable. They cost uh, nearly a whole dollar less. Uh, decrease the danger, however, however uh, less. And I need uh, 15 cents to dismiss, to terminate uh, class D personnel. And at least one agent per 10 class D personnel. So at the moment I could actually have all 100 class D personnel because I have 10 agents. So that potentially might be good. I'm gonna try to get this to a thousand just really quickly so that we have the extra six dollars of that. But I think going for just a bank in general seems better overall. You know we can actually have a good chunk of class D personnel because we make a lot of money right now regardless. Also my alarm is going off so I'm gonna focus on that while we just make money I guess. So I've been sitting here a little bit and just right now we got in send an expedition to find SCPs. Uh, it costs 5000 
it is plus 10% danger for 20 seconds. I'm not 100% sure what exactly that does for me, but let's go and open up maybe a few more banks first, making sure that we make more dosh in the long run, because I mean we make nearly 100 now per second. We make 100 now per second, which is good. And I mean, if we're gonna go and try and find more SCPs, it's probably not bad to maybe have more agents and more class D personnel on hand to deal with the dangers immediately. We're making a lot of money right now. Just a tad bit more and then we can open up yet another bank. Now we're down again but that will tick up probably rather fast. We have I guess 10% research done so that's good. I hope that sending an expedition will help us make research happen. That's at least my thought. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy myself a bunch more... Oh, inactive. Oh, recruit class D personnel automatically. Hmm. I mean, I'm playing a clicker right now to be active myself. So let's get myself 100 class Ds. And just because, ah, so that's how that works. It caps at the level of agents that I have. So that's where that goes in. Got it. So if I have that active by that logic, I just need to buy myself agents and don't need to worry about the class D anymore. Good to know, I don't make any more money. We need banks, like banks like crazy. Only one more and then we make 10 bucks per second with that only. And who died? Agent has died. Well, that's bad. Lost 10 class D because of that as well. Well, that's just how things go. Sadly, I want to have that extra security just so that I can do that. Oh, that's good. So there I can now do the clicking like crazy because now it dissolves fast enough. Oh, what is that? Hire replacement agents automatically. Wait, this... Ah. Okay, so just if anyone dies of the ones that I have, I get it replaced automatically. I, I take that. That way I don't fall below what I want to have. Open my mine. Even more cash with that. Yes, please. Be careful with mines. In the SCP universe, that's kind of dangerous as far as I know. Um, we have a good amount of uh, security right now, so let's expedition. That ticks down. Uh, class D personal monthly termination policy. What? Wait, 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 wait. Class D personal account will fluctuate as they are terminated and... Oh. 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 What is that? Okay, let's have that active. <coughs> it will probably do the thing that it's supposed to do. SCP-2395. We make... Apparently... Oh, it costs money to contain. Sure. Let's open a few more mines. Because why not? We need the extra money. Uh, class D personnel is fluctuating right now. I'm not sure if we need some extra safety because of that let's send you out to another expedition the danger is gone immediately I don't need to worry about anything with that anymore let's get ourselves a few more agents let's see what else we can find there also let's just I don't know what that does like legitimately it just it costs me money to do something oh hi SCP-1599 broken spy bot Cash research cost. Oh, but that boosts my research. So am I done once that hits 100? Or... Nope, I'm not. Research contained SCPs. Minus 80 cash and plus 1 research per SCP. Plus 2% danger per SCP maximum 9... Oh, now I can click just for research, but I can also have that active, which drains my money a little bit, but whatever. 
A malfunctioning destroyer. Here we go, 30 agents. Still not a lot in the grand scheme of things, but still. And mines. I definitely need something. Let's let's deactivate you there with the research for a second because I, I don't know where I'm trying to get with the research. I don't know what they do other than that I click them and I make less money per second because of them. Let's make another expedition. I have the money. Yeah, by the way, money, let's make more money. It's strangely addicting and there's still a lot more fields open here, so there is definitely more. This, see? SCP-1901. Ronald Reagan cut up while talking. Okay. Cash research plus... Uh, minus cash research cost. Click to research. Okay. We are researching that apparently. That Oh, that also just makes my research go quicker. And if I have both of them running, then boom. But it costs me a lot of dosh. Build a new containment site. Ah, one containment site is needed for every five SCPs. I'm not making a lot less money right now. I could... Sure. Don't have that many SCPs. Let's just build a few containment sites because... Sure. And then make more mines because... The SCP Foundation loves some mines, I guess. SCP-989, self-defense sugar. I don't know what you do. I can click you. Found self-defense sugar. Let's search again. I don't know if that is actually helpful to anything. What do we have? SCP-023, black shock. Sure, containment cost. There you go. And send out the expedition automatically. That will cost a lot of money. And it will also be dangerous, so I need more people to take care of the dangers that lie ahead. And I need more money <coughs> to actually support that kind of endeavor. Even though I really want to do that, uh, for the time being, I feel not 100% sure that I can handle it. We're getting steadily increased. What did I get? You just made ding and that's it. You make ding. I guess what that should do is bring me more SCPs, but I don't have any more space on here. And I cannot drag... Oh, oh we can look them up. Okay, uh, wait. We're gonna make just a few more mines because I have the money. There we go. That's lots of money. Let's read up on them SCPs. SCP-2395. Is a giant price tag located at whatever? 2395 is tied to a small rebar loop embedded in the ground by a 0.7 meter length of twine. One instance has occurred where SCP-2395 maintained a constant velocity of approximately 65 kilometers per hour on the date of 11. Uh, the door to their room is engraved with the initials LCE. The individual designated SCP-2395-B has responded to non no verbal communication but has occasionally been recorded conversing with other entities. Oh. Interesting. Anything. Hey, we got something else! Sure. Nice that we finally got something again. Oh, apparently I activated you. Uh, whatever. It Will not do a lot, I guess. Uh, what was else? Then we have you. You can read <coughs> all of that here. I'm just gonna quickly go over them. There, yeah, pause the videos for a short second and see what they are. I'm not gonna read through all of that, even though it's super interesting and I love SCP stuff. I don't have. Oh, now we can scroll. Many fingers, many toes. I dislike that. So let's go and make even more money because we need that. Let's just get a good chunk more of agents in here. Let's see that we have at least 100 agents. The rest can fill up on itself. I need more security. What do we have here? The director's cut. 
sure. Cool. Okay, so I might have bought uh, 300 agents and let the thing fill up now with class D personnel. In the technicality, we should have a lot of security when it comes to danger. Um. Oh, an agent has died. Oh no. He will be missed dearly. Uh, send out a basket of flowers to his family. Oh, you know what? They already thought to begin with that he was dead because he wasn't allowed to be outside of this facility anymore, so... Never mind that, we already probably sent that basket. So... Carry on! It happens. I mean, we deal with anomalies here. Happens to the best of us, we need more money. I wish there was another method of making more money still. I mean, I make a lot from the mines already. And I mean, they have a maximum of 500. And I'm just gonna fill up a little bit on everything here. Because, I mean, I have a lot of extra money laying around. Okay, so we have a lot of saving, uh, savings accounts now. We have a few more banks. Again, the savings accounts did way more from a total of money than the banks did. So I guess the banks are not worth it anymore. They just cost more money than anything else. Savings accounts, surprisingly enough, still turned out making profit for me here in the long run. I guess, however, in the long run, the mines are what will bring in the most money. So I'm just gonna activate that again. We're just gonna have constant... Uh, Expeditions go on and I mean we have a lot of money. I could go and buy some more agents and I guess I will Yeah, there's a new message. Be careful about being too aggressive with research Huh Does that mean I should slow my roll a little bit? Oh wow, we found a lot Research all contained SCPs automatically Sure um, What did we get? Uh, we had that last Book of Dreams. There you go, you can read about that. Then we found the failed wolf. There you go, read that. An agent has died. No need to read that. The deathly videotape. There you go, read that. It's probably a play on uh, the ring. Oh. Use class D personnel to complete emergency containment rituals. Oh, sure. Test log. 6224, note from 05s. Oh, cushion to contain. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Danger is fluctuating right now. I guess I need to make a little bit more dosh and buy myself even more agents. I mean, I make constant headway on my class D personnel, which will slowly build up. Agents do just a lot more for me. There we go! We're breaking 100 now! Just a smidgen more. Because I want to be absolutely sure that we're always above 100%. I say a smidgen. This is so much more than just a smidgen, but whatever. Once we have all that class D personnel filled up for that, we are totally fine. Holy cow, this is a lot. Well, let's go on expeditions again. Who cares if anything goes wrong? Uh, I think we need a few more mines. So, ooh, SCP-152 Book of Endings. There you go, read that and activate. Oh, that gives me a plus on my research. Well, it's just called the Book of Endings. What bad can happen? Pink Flamingo. There you go. Read about... Oh, that's actually a short one. Well, whatever. Read about that. SCP-914. The Clockworks. There you go. Read about them. Uh, SCP-991. The syringe can be used active, actively in interrogations. Makes minus on research plus on danger. Doesn't see. Um. Oh! 106! 86! Sorry. There you go, read about that. Also, probably read about the syringe. 
Should I have you active? Sure, why not? Oh, no! Oh! I probably shouldn't have used the syringe. Well, anyway, that's surprisingly fun! I was not expecting to have so much fun with an SCP clicker. I did not think that concept would work as beautifully as it did. But it made a lot of sense. That was fun. That was really cool. Uh, I don't have any problems with the art set. It looks simplistic just like SCP does on its base level. It's simplistic, it is covert, it works fine. What I would love to have is some sort of background not necessary in music, but background noise to have you engaged a little bit more, that you can toggle on or off. That's the only thing that I would love to have. And I just closed it. Well, whatever. Nobody needed it anyway anymore. I really enjoyed that. And I like that you can read up on the SCPs. Maybe <laughs> maybe tell the player somewhere that you can right-click the different SCPs to read up on them. Because I just found that out on an accident. So... Maybe tell that to the player somehow. So, uh, the negative thing about it, it's a clicker. And not everyone is into clickers, I 100% get that. And therefore this is probably a niche game to some people. Not as interesting, but it still gives you to the ability to read through a few SCPs if you are still inclined to. But on the other hand, you can always visit the SCP Foundation directly and just read through a few SCPs over there. Play it yourself, find out if you enjoy it too. Anyway, that's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.